Good morning. How are we today? So today we have got a quick chest and back workout. We call it um, chest and back in a flash. About the two muscle groups that I need to work today, so I figured why not uh, do a recording. Okay. Someone else might be interested in trying the workout. Okay, let's reach slowly above the head. Two. One. Let's go to our rotation. Squeeze it round. Excellent. Let's just do a quick hip rotation. Other way. Good job. Just get the legs moving a bit. Warm up that whole body. Five. Let's just do a baby squat with a rotation here. Four. Two, just cross the hands. Three, the little shoulder roll. Now the quick rotation just to try and get that upper back moving as well. Let's squeeze our yeah. Shoulder blades together here. Five. Open. Close the chest. Let's roll out the wrists. Transfer weight from side to side. Four. Three. One. Radio right, guys, we're going to start with chest on the ground. So. Bring it down, please. Okay. So we need to tuck our shoulders under the body. We've got nice straight wrists. We're going to press up. Um, so the dumbbells, if they came down, they'd be in line with the top of the ribs, bottom of the chest. See, when I drop down, my elbows are here, never out wide. And then I'm pressing up, so drop down, squeeze it up. It's kind of like I'm following a rainbow down and then following that rainbow back up. Keep going, good work. We're going to go 15. Control that weight down and up. Eight. Three more, please. Okay. Now, active recovery. We're going to place the dumbbells on the ground. You can hold on to them if you like. Gonna tuck shoulders under the body and I'm gonna squeeze and hold that glute bridge while we rest our shoulders and chest. Five seconds. Three, two, slowly bring it down. So we're gonna keep the same exercise going for three sets. Try and create some muscular endurance. Three, two, one, three, two, one. Straight wrists. We're not going too fast. We want to keep it slow and control. Good work. Keep that breath flowing. Try and exhale as you press. Good 
five to go. Two more. Excellent. So just holding those weights. If you one or two, you can stack those weights on the chest. I just want to give my arms a full break here. Squeeze up, tuck those shoulders under the body. Push through the heels. Squeeze those glutes together. That's the way. You might want to give your arms a little bit of a shake. Three, two, one, good job. Bring it down. Okay, final set for chest for now. Okay, let's go. Good work, nearly there. That's 10. Five to go. So this exercise is working our pecs or our chest, our shoulders and our triceps. So it's a really good compound movement. Works more than one muscle group. Three more, please. Yep, last one. Done. Okay, let's just push up into that bridge for a few seconds. Relax those shoulders. Five seconds. No, up, Papa. Go on. <laughs> Three, two, and done. Now I know I said that was our last set, last round. We're just going to do one more round because when I do my own workouts, for some reason I always do four sets. So we might as well keep it the same today. If it's too much for you, just take some extra rest. Pop into that glute bridge instead. Good job. Last set for chest, I promise. Just got a bit of a dodgy shoulder. I think about activating that chest a bit more than the shoulder to give it a little rest. Mind muscle connection. Three more. Three. Good, good, last one. Oh, that's definitely it. My shoulder's saying no more, no more. Okay, squeeze up into that bridge, hold. Five seconds. Two, excellent, okay. So that's working at the front of our body, chest, shoulders, are also underneath triceps. So now we're going to activate the back of our body. So back and also the biceps. When you work the back, the biceps are activated. So we're going to hinge with a flat back and we're going to squeeze our elbows up past the ribs. Pull the tummy tight. We've got 15 again, that's eight. Five more, please. That's one. 
straighten out. Weights down for a second. Let's take our active recovery here. Sumo hold. Right, let me give those wrists or arms a quick shake. Push back. Come on. Five seconds. I do a little pulse if you like. Three, two, excellent. Bring it up. Quick rotation. Just want to release that back. <clears throat> okay, one down, three to go. Okay, so keeping those shoulders back, we hinge at the hips. Slight bend of the knees, let's go. Nice and slow and controlled. Good. Excellent. Five more. Now, while you do your sumo hold, I'm just going to show you an alternative if you find it difficult to keep your back straight when you hinge over. So you come down on the ground and do a renegade row instead. So we're squeezing, same sort of movement, activating the same muscles, except we're supported on the ground. Squeezing dumbbell up, elbows past the ribs. So that's your alternative if you find it too hard to get that flat back when you hinge over, to get that hinge movement. A good idea is to practice it in front of a mirror, getting that flat back and head. Three, two, one. Uh, the best way I can explain it is Try and stick your butt out. Because if you're going to hinge over without your butt sticking out, this will be the, this will be the result. If you start from here. This whole part of the body hinges. Okay, once you get the movement, you don't normally forget it. Okay, set three of four. Brace the tummy, bend the legs, hinge it over. Let's go. Nice and slow and controlled. Job. Five more, please. Shoulders back. Up we come, good work. Did you notice? <laughs> sumo or a sumo pulse. Giving those arms a little shake. Pulse, pulse. Dance too. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, and bring it in. Good work. Right here. Final round, final exercise. Oh, apart from our little sumo pulse at the end, possibly. Starting with shoulders back. Pull that tummy in. Let's go. Trying to think about those muscles that you're activating. Back, all in the back. And the biceps. Five 
five more, please. Stay quiet. Stop. Two left, guys. Stop, Zoe. Well done. Sorry about the dog barking, guys. Okay, let's sit into our final sumo, sumo pulse. Quick rest. I mean, sorry, quick stretch, and then we're done. Pulse it. Might want to roll out the shoulders here, forwards and back. Three, two, and bring it up. Let's open our chest here. Take the shoulder blades back and down. Lift the chin. So that's the front and the back of your body worked. Both really great compound movements which work more than one muscle group. So big big bang for your butt. That big calorie burn also. Round through that upper back here. Squeeze your shoulder blades apart. Excellent from the base of the spine. Come up nice and tall. Roll the shoulders back. Other way. Take it to a side stretch, grabbing on that wrist. Excellent. Other side. Good job. Back to the centre. Drop and roll. Let's take it to our hamstring hold here. Flat backs. Great legs too. Five seconds. Looking for a stretch in here, top of the back leg. Two, one, bend, roll it up. Roll those shoulders back. Okay, just a quad stretch to finish. Grab that foot. You can take the hand out to the side, above the head, out with balance. Heel back, push that knee away from the midline. Five seconds. Two. Excellent switching legs. Squeeze it back. Three. Two. Good job, release. Let's take it to our rotation. Three. Excellent. Nice, big, deep breath. Last and give yourself a great big clap so that was chest and back in a flash have a wonderful day let me know what you thought of the workout bye